vintage Tupac Biggie. Mail a pint to myself, flew a porn star to ATL. So today's video is just gonna be a bunch of clips of me going thrifting, Buffalo Exchange, kind of just all over the place. We did come up on a bunch of vintage clothes. Stay tuned till the end, you guys won't want to miss it. Pulling up to Goodwill Hollywood. This one is such a hit or miss. If you guys remember last time or like two times ago, we came here and they had the Gucci jacket, but they were charging $80, so I passed up on it. Let's see if we find some more Gucci. Found this fake Tommy Hill figure. The way you could tell is the color of the blue. It's like a royal blue instead of navy. Got that player exclusive Oregon Ducks fleece. Vintage purple Columbia. Vintage champion shorts, no pockets though, so I'm gonna pass. If you didn't have this as a kid, then I feel really bad for you. My boy found a few things. He found a Harley cutoff shirt. I don't know what the heck this is. Iron King. Never heard of that. Champion shorts that I showed you guys that I'm gonna pass up, no pockets. I have no idea. Corn. Oh, this polo's nice. Oh, it has stains on it though. It'll come off. And the Columbia. You got a Patriot knit sweater. And an NBC. Yeah, Major key. Play. DGK. Found this Burberry London button down shirt. Unfortunately, they want $25 though, so it's too much. Then we found some Burberry Brit denim jeans. These are $32.33. They want $100, which is absolutely mental. And then another Burberry Brit jeans. They only want $49. So it doesn't really make sense. Got this big polo messenger. Sherpa Levi's corduroy jacket. And then a polo ruffler and duffel. Nike Air Max, 40 bucks. And then he also found these Nikes. Size 13. The Pippins. Mitchell and Ness, Brooklyn Nets. Well, we got some super, super beat Jordan 4s. It's cracking on the back. These might even be fake. Super, super beat. This Goodwill sucks so bad. There's literally nothing good here. Found these ice creams. I just remember like one size that eight, model ten and a half. Cool, then they have these Robin jeans, seventy bucks, size forty though, which is obviously very big. Adidas floral, size eleven, forty bucks. Puma cats, size twelve, twenty-seven. Flyknit Air Force One, size nine and a half for forty-eight. Thirty-four. Adidas Superstar in like this peach colorway. Brought a luggage. Unfortunately, it's a consignment, so they're asking 400. Fake Fendi. Got a Burberry trench coat, 40 bucks. This Polo Sport Vintage plaid jacket. Crazy sparkly Air Force Ones. So we found Generation X. Big X on the back. And then we found this reprint vintage Tupac Biggie, made in Haiti. I already know people are going to be like, oh, you probably planted that. No, this is at Buffalo Exchange. I'm in the fitting room. So now let's get into the haul. We have this vintage Black History Month double-sided t-shirt. It says it's size medium, but it seems like it could fit like a true large or just a oversized medium. Another vintage made in USA, Janet Jackson. This is from 1990. And this on eBay is going for $300. Somebody donated, I guess, all their, or they had either a store or just an awesome vintage collection. They donated all the Buffalo Exchange. 
and we came up. Next, we have this Billy Joel. This is from 89.90. Brian Adams. I really like this shirt because of the back. It has the big tour dates and then the 1992. These two cops, I did go with my boy, and this is kind of like the downside or upside with thrifting with somebody. He came up on this Generation X shirt. And then he came up on a Grail. He came up on a vintage Tupac shirt. It's kind of crazy, I'm kind of salty because literally I was like going to that and he just happened to like cut and like, I don't know, he just got it first. And I tried working out a deal. We might, I might try to do like some kind of trade with him, but for the time being, he is gonna keep it. But this thing is fire. Crazy double-sided. So those were the finds of today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Also, the next video I'm doing is gonna be kind of like a discussion. Obviously, I haven't posted in a while and my posting schedule has kind of been bad. I'm gonna do all that. I'm also gonna do a little Q&A, get you guys up to speed on what's going on in my life. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another EMC vlog. And don't forget, guys, let's get it. Walking through the snow, I'm wearing YSL boots.